idea of those images is really interesting. I think they're trying to give off this image of we're a bunch of fucking really tough guys. And, you know, we were these kind of kids that would go to Sunday shows sometimes, and we get up in there in that crowd and stuff, and when everyone's getting all fucking rough and tough and singing in with the band, we get in there, we'd be grabbing ass. And we'd fucking do our thing, you know? Because we had to. So that's what the song is about. It's like, yeah, that's right. We are about that fucking brotherhood. I'm all down with that brotherhood shit. Because those guys, we're getting in on some of that brotherhood jazz. So it's all right. Let's go. This song is called 
limpers if you can't stop. You can sing along. Uh, take off the top. Thank you, Nimar. You, Nimar, my boys. Uh, the lyrics of the song I hate when the kids were here to set the score. We're tired of fucking hiding, you won't do it no more. Come out of the closet and into the pit, boy, I'm boy, come back, you know it's a shit, then first. No more bullshit, tough attitudes. Mimicking daddy, you no longer do. Challenge the system, challenge yourself. And if you're bad enough, you're gonna do it, then first stop. Then first. So if you wanna catch in on it and try to sing along, go right ahead. Let's have fun. All right. Us off in our younger years by um, 
who are kind of promoting that really macho kind of tough kind of bullshit. I know. Huh? There you go. Hardcore beefcake, for real. Like, did you ever see the Mo Fantings, the old Trade Edge Fantings? Where they have guys with their exes all fucking like. Like, so many years in the day, almost. Surprise attack! Hot. Hot. And uh, basically, we're thanking all those people because um, it really tapped into these feelings that we're having at younger ages. Although they didn't know it, and I don't think that was their intention, but for us, it was like, oh shit, look at the body on this one, look at this guy, look at that, look at the bulge on this fucker. And it was like, to be honest, it was something else, it was out of the swirl. So, we, we um, basically, thank those people who are promoting that, that stuff uh, because it did us a lot of good. <laughs> um, I must say, um, it's really funny, but it's like, I think the boy scene is so behind on tapping into these feelings and ideas where a lot of women were a hell of a lot more advanced and being straight up on how they feel. And that, you know, sure, you know, they say, yeah, I kiss my girlfriend all the time, but guys don't talk about that. Guys don't talk about those experiences as little boys that we have with our little boyfriends. And they don't talk about that because it's like we're not supposed to. Um, but we're here to say, fuck that shit, let's talk about it. And if you fucking make out with your friend, cool. Fucking, that's what our motto is. Out of the closet and into the pit. Fuck that bullshit. Good dog talk, thanks. So let's go. And thank you to those people who didn't even know what they were doing, but they were doing something good. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 